My name is Philip Powell. I was here as an assistant curator of the geological collections for 40 years. In 1994, I went to this gravel pit at Yarnton because there is there within the underlying Oxford clay a layer of nodules. And when you crack them open, you get these, generally, these large ammonites. And I thought we'd go and collect some ammonites. Anyway, we get to this gravel pit, so we walk across to smash out some rather super ammonite, but instead it turns out to be a large bone, an arm bone of one of these swimming reptiles. We started digging and uh, soon realized that there were more bones attached to the other end of this, and uh, even the fingers as well, so this was something we had to try and dig out. Finding a complete skeleton or even complete limb is, is quite a rarity. So then we set to work. It was in a very public place and dog walkers would come along and say, can you spare a bone? And once we discovered all we could discover, I simply laid out a sheet of polythene and with a magic marker drew in the position of all the bones. And what, what you do is you cover the bones with strips of sacking dipped in plaster of Paris. Lovely, messy job. You make a thick casing over the top of the bone and then you dig underneath and then you've got your bone in a plaster jacket the main body. That was quite heavy. The pit manager came to our help and he, uh, this enormous digger came across the lake. Uh, then we uh, rolled the thing into the bucket and he took it away across the lake and, and bring it back to the museum and then you can open it up from whichever side you think is best. And you have to realise that the land, Oxfordshire itself, is a series of sea floors. So throughout much of Jurassic time, southern England was the site of a sea. Oxfordshire was on the edge of it. At the time this animal lived, it was quite a deep sea, covering most of southern England. That's why this particular level of Oxfordshire is full of these sea creatures.